Hi guys, it's Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and welcome to my channel. If you like thrifting, DIYs and repurposing, you've come to the right place and we'd love to have you follow along. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great content. Um, today I'm going to show you how to age paper, just plain computer paper. So you can make it look really rustic and really old and really antique looking and then you can add it to your projects. It's a really simple um, procedure and today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how you can make it yourself. I'm actually doing a series of um, videos on different techniques that you can age paper. So I'll put a link below in the description for the other ones that I've done so you can go back and watch them after you've watched this one. Okay, let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how you can age computer paper with milk and coffee. This graphic is available from the Graphics Fairy. I'll put a link below in the description for her website. The first step I like to do is crinkle the paper. It just gives it more of an aged and crinkled antique look when you put the stain on. I've printed this graphic off on my laser jet printer. You can use an inkjet, but just be aware that the ink may run. This is the items that you'll need to create this effect. You'll need some instant coffee, about a um, tablespoon, and you'll need about a quarter cup of milk, and you're just gonna dab the milk all over that graphic, just making sure you get the paper completely covered. I like to let the milk pool a little bit in the corners and throughout the graphic. Now you're going to take the instant coffee and I just take my fingers and I just sprinkle it all over the paper. And you don't want it to be even. You want little um, blotches here and there and thinner in some places and thicker in others. Now you're going to take your sponge and squeeze out most of the milk out of it and just kind of blotch that coffee into the paper. Just kind of dab it so the coffee starts to melt. And just keep dabbing until you get the desired look. Now you want to preheat your oven to 200 degrees. Place the cookie sheet with the graphic on it in the oven at 200 degrees and watch it. Don't walk away. Make sure you keep an eye on it and it probably will take between 5 and 10 minutes to dry completely. And there's your paper completely aged and now I'm just going to do the finishing step. I like to iron my paper flat when it's finished. It just makes it easier to work with um, on projects. So I take my iron on the lowest setting and I press the steam button and wet the top paper and iron it until it feels nice and flat. And there you have computer paper aged to make it look like it's 100 years old with milk and coffee. I have six other techniques of how to age paper in a playlist. So if you have a chance, go back and look at all of those ones and then let me know in the comments which ones you like the best. 
I hope I've inspired you to try to age some of your own computer paper. And thanks for watching and have a great day.